This is Nof Hasnabadi. We're here at the Webster celebrating Late Arts of Songs collaboration with Spike Lee, Cool Hand Brooklyn. What's good guys, this is Noah from High Snobiety. We are here at the Webster with the legendary Spike Lee. How are you? You're being too kind. <laughs> I'm fine, how are you doing? Cool. Glad you're here for the launch of the Daytona Rolex Cool Ham Brooklyn joint. It's a beautiful watch. Thank you, thank you. I've, uh, I've been into Paul Newman Daytonas for a minute. First time I got them was when uh, I was in Paris. I was going to Cannes. I love the watch. I first got hip to Paul Newman very early on. My parents were woke, so they told me that was happening in the world. And Paul Newman was next to Dr. King. And Paul Newman was very involved in civil rights movement. Him, Sidney, Portier, yeah, Harry Belafonte. They were down. Oh yeah. Cool Hand Luke had made a great impression on me as a young man. Yeah. Then I got to know more about him. Wish you'd stop being so good to me, Captain. Don't you ever talk that way to me. Never! Never! So, when I met my man, John Isaac, yeah. on a humbug at the Apple store, and he asked me that I want to do this collaboration automatically, because he said Rolex, but it could be any Rolex one. Yeah, of course. But I was like, nah, it's got to be the Paul Newman Daytona. So that's how it happened. It's a crazy story. And, and also, I like to say, Rolex is more than a watch. When you wear a Rolex, you're wearing a piece of art. Very true. On your wrists. I'm left-handed, so I wear it my right okay. wrist. So I'm just blessed. So I'm just happy, and I hope that people uh, get as much joy out of, this, of, 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 of wearing this watch as I will. So obviously, it's uh, it's orange, it's blue. The design process was very easy, I'm sure. Well, not that easy, but a lot of people don't know New York City's official colors are orange and blue. Oh, okay. So that's where the Mets got their colors from, mm. and also the Knicks, orange and blue. But this watch fits so perfect with me, sitting courtside yeah. at the world's most famous <laughs> arena with my orange and blue Paul Newman Daytona Cool Ham Brooklyn joint. Yeah. And we got Persingas too. Jeez. <laughs> but again, I'm happy that you were able to interview me tonight, spread the word. Of course. Only 40 being made. So you have designed many sneakers. And now. Spizikes. And now, now uh, watch. Do you see yourself going further? If, you know, the right. Well, here's the thing though. Put you up. These are things, opportunities that, that, that come to me. It's not like... Got you. Well, I'm not, I'm gonna, I was, well, wait a minute. That's not true. I was at the mic for a while. Mike, I need my own sneaker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. And in fact, this February, the NBA All-Star Week will be in Los Angeles. Will be in Los Angeles. Yeah. And it'll be the 30th anniversary. 30 years ago will be the anniversary of the first Mike and Spike. Wow. Jordan commercial. 30 years. That's a long time, man. That's three decades. Yo, Holmes, this is Mars Blackman, and this is my main man, Michael Jordan. Yo, Mike, what makes you the best player in the universe? Is it the shoes? You have a lot of anniversaries right now. You've got the Yeah, we just, had, we just had Malcolm X. Congratulations very, on that, by the way. Thank you. We're very happy about how people received She's Gotta Have. Oh, yeah. It, 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 it blew up. I was hopeful. We do well, but the response we've got is like way beyond. But what would you expect? Look, I don't take anything for granted. Yeah, that's true. So you don't know how black folks be acting funny sometimes. Uh, so you don't know. 
And when, let me tell you, when black Twitter gets on your ass, it's real. they get on your ass. That's real. <laughs> I mean, it came out in 86. It's 2017. The, oh, she's the, gonna have it, yeah. And the response is incredible. Incredible. Same with, uh, you know, Malcolm X came out back in 92. Yeah, 25 years. 2017, those two films are super relevant. Is that exciting or a bit concerning? Oh. No! Here's the thing, though. And, and the way you just phrase that question is truthful. It's exciting because the work is the work's still relevant. It's sad because it was relevant. That means that not shit much has changed. Exactly. So it's, it's a double-edged sword. Thank you, man. All right, man. Bet. Love. Cool, cool.